how terrible for this to happen to you or one of yours and to be forgotten. Before becoming a military chaplain just over 30 years ago, I was a curate in Sheffield in South Yorkshire. And I called one afternoon to visit an elderly pensioner who lived in the parish. He was a man in his 90s who lived alone, a First World War veteran, an old soldier. We talked for about an hour about the Great War, about himself, he showed me his medals. He even gave me a glass of his homemade salt gin wine, which nearly poisoned me. Just as I was getting up to leave, he sat back in his chair and pointed to an aging photograph hanging on the wall. It was the photograph of a young soldier, his eldest son. And with a very heavy heart, he took my arm and he said to me, we lost him in 1942, killed in action. And he pulled me close to him and he whispered in my ear, I think about him every single day. This is what today is about. <clears throat> Thinking about and praying for those anxious and grieving families and remembering with gratitude those fellow citizens who have served and struggled heroically. And those who have given their lives so that the rest of us can live in freedom and in peace. Amen.